Hi traders, welcome to Elite Currency. My name is Chris and this video is all about the euro dollar and pound dollar. Will they break to the upside? Let's take a look. All right, and that's indeed what's happening right now with the euro dollar. As expected in the last couple of videos, uh, we were already indicating that a continuation is likely. We had a second break above the 21 EMA, which was key. The first one was vulnerable to a pullback that would retest these bottoms. And we said, watch out for a potential bounce because of the inverted head and shoulders, basically. And that's what happened. Indeed, we had a wave B. This is probably wave A and up. We're probably going for wave C, according to my wave analysis, at least. So the second break above the 21 EMA is how we measure uh, the potential start of that wave C. And it looks like we're getting a follow through uh, to the upside right now. Price already stayed above the 21 EMA, which to me was indicating that the, the you know the bulls were in control hma was up as well and we're seeing a consequence now uh, of that with a push to the upside i think that if we put a fib from here to here uh price might make it up to the minus 272 target maybe even stretch uh, to the minus 61.8 target which if we zoom out is the previous top of the wave four the previous wave four perhaps at around 118.40 all right so that could be a big a decision zone it could be a big bounce spot it could also be uh, a breakout spot we'll have to see how price responds to that level when when it, if and when it gets there all right so because just it, because it's breaking you know market is the market you never know but for the moment i think that that's a, a pretty good probability that price can get there so looking at the hourly chart we see a little bit of a triangle and that triangle is breaking to the upside or uh, perhaps even some kind of ascending wedge because we have a pretty steep support trend line but a pretty shallow resistance trend line so definitely more uh you know bulls uh buying at a higher price so we're getting a breakout right now actually uh an hour ago uh or less than that um we're seeing a little bit of a reaction to that i wouldn't be surprised if there's some kind of uh correction first maybe back to the moving averages here before we get a bounce of course if price does break below the support trend line and the pivot point then of course we need to be careful let me use a different a template so it doesn't look that crowded with indicators and uh, this is something that uh, we traded ourselves actually not the euro dollar but we traded the euro odd and we made profit on that we closed it already or half the trade is closed for profit already that's because of course the euro dollar is moving up and the aussie is moving down a little bit at least today um so that was good for us and we had a year odd and that's something we sent uh, as an example trade of our own trade for learning purposes through the ecs live channel so if you're interested in joining or trying it out uh, you can check out ecs live for one month and uh, you can see for yourself if it's something that you like in any case i think that your dollar could retest these previous tops you can see that the ECS fractals were already indicating an uptrend here on the one hour chart. Uh, the four hour chart is more of a mixture, it's actually more of a downtrend, but the momentum was up. We had arrow and HMA up, so and the hourly is breaking to the upside. So I think we could see, I would like to see, you see prices already falling. So this could be a pullback, but it's important to, uh, I think, wait for maybe a 50 fib, for instance, and also how does price respond? There should be some consolidation. There should be some pattern and then the break of that pattern because you never know with breakouts, they can turn into false breakouts. Although I don't think that is necessarily likely at this point due to also looking at the CAMAC D, ECS CAMAC D, which is indicating momentum. Uh, you never know. Uh, but, you know, always just keep an eye on this bottom, keep an eye on the pivot point and keep an eye on the consolidation pattern here because if there is some kind of triangle that builds here for instance like this and then a break of that triangle pattern it bounces off the 50 fib you know then a, a continuation in my view uh is looking pretty pretty decent all right pound dollar also broke above this resistance trend line and this resistance trend line broke above the 21 ema kind of same story here uh first break re-break below it and then the second break indicating that wave c and indeed we had that wave c as you can see here this is something that we discussed in ECS SWOT, simple wave analysis and trading, which goes way more than that. In a simple way, we look at patterns basically. And uh, this is probably, this was a wave B, 
And I think we're looking at a wave ABC at this moment. Now, within the wave C, let me use a different template. I think we're looking at a wave 4, 5 at this moment because this looks like a wave 1, 2. You can see how price respected the 21 EMA, bounced away from it, and broke above it, which I think is a wave 3 here. And this is looking like a wave 4 that's going back to the 21 EMA. Now, it could still be a wave 4 of a, of a bigger wave 3, right? We'll have to see. But at the moment, price does look like it's bouncing at this point, and uh, momentum is up on the daily chart. We have trend down. We got the diamond still down. But we have HMA up, we have blue arrow, so definitely a mixture there. On the 4-hour chart, price is above that 21 EMA as discussed already on the euro dollar. Same thing on uh, the pound, and the HMA is above the 21 EMA. So I think that, uh, and we have the candles loose from the 21 EMA. So I think that yesterday we actually had already uh, a breakout to 132.50 right here. So this was already a potential trade the upside from a swap perspective but i think we could see a continuation now i'm not at this point um i think it's a little bit riskier than the euro dollar perhaps um because price is a little bit more corrective and we're looking at candle number 12 it could it could correct with one more leg lower i would say let's put a fib on that wave three like this all right, and you know it, it bounced off a very shallow 23.6 fib. So I, you know, in a way, I'm still uh, on guard that it, if it wouldn't retrace by any chance to a 38 or 50 fib, even 38 probably a bit more likely before bouncing to the upside. Uh, let's take a look at the four-hour chart, and we can see that price is getting pretty close to the long to moving average, which is also a spot where price could. Uh, basically stop and make a bigger correction down i think that this could be a b c for a w down for a x should see three waves down and then another uh three waves up or five waves up uh, perhaps even um depending on the exact wave patterns that will unfold for a wave y or wave c all right so that's what i'm expecting regarding the wave patterns if I switch to a different template, you can see that the 50 fib, by the way, is aligned with the weekly pivot point right there. So that could be another kind of bouncing spot for the pound dollar. It could break right away as well. In that case, I would probably keep an eye on the 50 minute chart. I would maybe like to see some kind of pattern like this um, and a continuation. Normally, maybe I would even trade the breakout here. But because the pound dollar, uh, I think, is pretty close to uh, a target 132.80 you know there's not a lot of space it hit 132.50 um, I'm a little bit more cautious with that and I might skip it if it just breaks right away to the upside if it retraces first that would make it a little bit more interesting to trade that continuation to the upside in my view at least all right just because the target 130.80 is is pretty close by there's not a lot of space at this moment for a breakout that would be a little bit different if it retraces deeper and then bounces all right that's it for now thanks for joining this uh, video of course more free material at elitecurrency.com also our ecs start package also more free analysis and if you're interested in trying out ecs swat or ecs live of course we'll be happy uh, to see that and we have a lot of great uh, material that uh, you'll learn including these fractals including the moving averages how you can use them how they represent uh, waves and how can, how you can understand the patterns in a deeper way. Wish you all good trading. See you soon. Cheers.